Imagine this, a ship the size of a skyscraper rolling into a massive metal box floating on water. That's a floating dry dock, and it's about to pull off some serious engineering wizardry. First, the dry dock sinks itself, yeah, on purpose, by flooding its massive tanks with water, lowering its deck beneath the waves. The ship then glides in like it owns the place. Once perfectly positioned, the dry dock kicks the water out, flexing its steel muscles, and rises back up, hauling that ocean giant high and dry. It's like lifting a blue whale out of the ocean with a colossal floating bathtub. Now, engineers and welders swarm the exposed hull, patching cracks, blasting rust, painting, and fixing stuff you'd never spot from the surface. These dry docks are beasts, strong enough to hoist aircraft carriers, cruise ships, or mega freighters like they're mere toys. And the best part? The whole jaw-dropping operation happens right there in the harbor. No need for secret shipyards tucked away miles inland. It's industrial magic with a splash of showmanship and a whole lot of muscle. So next time you see a ship that looks way too massive to ever leave the water, remember, somewhere, a floating dry dock is just waiting to show off and flex on gravity like a boss.